So Talis remembers the concept really goes back to May uh, 2018 when I went to the senior leader team meeting and simply asked the question, do we want to do anything more than we usually do for Remembrance Day on this significant centenary of the uh, anniversary of the end of the First World War? The overwhelming answer was yes, so there the concept was born and we've been working at it ever since. During the course of the day we've got um, pastoral activities going on, there's an art installation taking place that all tutor groups are contributing to in the morning. During every lesson, um, teachers from all subject areas, from science to math and art and design technology are uh, engaging in a range of activities that have remembrance as a theme. Um, period two is an injected tutorial period where the Peter Jackson film is being shown to those in year 10 and above and the letters to, from the trenches film to, for those in year seven to nine. What do you think about the fact that they finally recognised the first woman who fought on the Western Front? learning about the personal lives of the soldiers who fought in World War One. And we've been learning how the First World War has impacted Britain and how the soldiers were conscripted and how they reacted to it. In period two, we were watching about uh, what this, this, this guy who's been put into war as well and he, he said about his life and what's happened in his life about the, the war and he said about what it's like, the trenches and how he's feeling and how he misses home and like he's been talking a lot about his family and remembrance so every child in the school there's almost like 1800 has attached a ribbon and tied a, a sentiment in a knot So today's lunch we're going to be doing, it's called Friday Pie, which is a pie that they would have had during the war made from off cuts of meat with potato with a pastry top. We're having root vegetable stew because that was sort of the only vegetables that would have been available and the only salad we're having today is a mixed leaf salad because people grew their own vegetables then and the cucumbers because they were the easiest things for them to grow. I think it's right that we should remember their sacrifices. And for me also it's personal because my uh, great uncle is commemorated here on this display. Uh, he had an unusual background perhaps for a soldier because he was a professor of English at Bristol University and was relatively elderly when he went out to the Western Front. Hi, I'm Stella Anderson. I am a EA for the Geography Department. Today we had an account of um, one of our um, teachers of his great-great-uncle who was in the war and what it felt like when he was sending letters back home. I am Imam Swale, um, Imam and the leader of the Greenwich Islamic Centre. Thomas Talley School um, is a very good school. The school represents a wide variety of people from different backgrounds and that is a good school. As a Sikh it's also very important to remember both world wars because there was a massive Sikh contribution. India was part of the British Empire and just like everybody else warriors went out, they were called the black warriors at the time where they wore their turbans to identify themselves as Sikhs and we lost thousands of lives and it was a sacrifice of everybody across the world that we need to remember on uh, this very very special day. The tragedies of the two great, the Great War and the Second World War mustn't be forgotten. It wasn't just a war um, for just one specific faith but it was all interfaiths that were involved. Hopefully one day it will be realised how much it devastates humanity and we will not have any more wars. But looking back, if we, this country, hadn't gone into the war, myself as a Jew, and a lot of without the children in the school wouldn't be able to be 
carrying on here? Well, it is important because it um, built bridges between the people and people come together, get to understand each other and get to create a kind of love between themselves. And a good day like this today, that whereby we remember these uh, people who died um, for, for us to live good and nicely and to live with this variety with the way we are today, it is a thing to remember and it is something good that we can, uh, we can be proud of. So what the most important outcome of, of uh, the day really is, is that, that young people begin to think about remembrance and they think about those important questions of who is remembered, um, why they're remembered and how they're remembered.